celebration time again. Our children are getting ready to say goodbye, cast the lines, but with the ever-rising cost of higher education, the task of finding the right school will be quite daunting. This week, the Blue Paper is following one aspiring artist who decided to think outside the box. Searching for an art school, she found one she liked in India. It's very far, very different. Everything in India is very different. And yeah, it's a little scary. The students seem really nice. And I don't know, I feel like I could make a, a friend, hopefully. That's like, I don't know, what makes me okay with this, because I feel like I'd be able to make a friend. Okay, so now what do you think of like Clementine going to India? I think that it is a lovely idea. <laughs> <laughs> I think that she should follow her heart. <laughs> So now you saw the movie. Oh, I thought it was an old factory with monkeys. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, I think it's really cool. Like, I think it's super like an artsy and like crazy different thing than what everyone else is doing. So go above the team. Yay. <laughs> this was all for the video. Not for the going, so it's okay. <laughs> all right. Can we make cake now? So can a Key West girl really pursue an education in art by going halfway around the world? There was only one way to find out. We took a plane and landed here. Hello. This is the center of Delhi, India's capital. Everything we've heard about India is true, in a way. They drive on the left side of the road, and only God knows why there never seemed to be the smallest accident. Okay. Hey, what is this? See? Jama Majid. I work at Fashion Parking Tent. We're here to tour IFA, the International Institute of Fine Arts in Modinaga. IFA was created and funded in the year 2000 by Satish Modi and his wife, Abba. Modi Nagar is about 25 miles outside of Delhi. And the reason we set it up was because there was no other institute set up for the last 60 years in India. And there was a need to set up an art institute of international level to promote the Indian artist and provide them a platform globally. With a few days to kill before our appointment to visit IFA, we went around to discover a bit of India. <laughs> One more here. Here, Everywhere, we were amazed 
by the constant interaction between people and animals, as well as the extraordinary resourcefulness of even those in the most desperate of situations. This is how some play baseball in the back alleys of Delhi. What needs to be explained is that everyone you see here is totally blind. It is the sound of the plastic ball that guides the players. Everywhere people are working and children are playing and experiencing the same joy and the same drama as all kids throughout the world. And it never stops. After just a few days, completely mesmerized, it was about time for us to go visit Aifa in Modinaga. To say that I was totally confident about the whole thing, no, far from it. Would it be safe for an American student alone in India? It's one thing to visit the Taj Mahal, take a ride on an elephant, but to decide it's okay to drop your 19-year-old daughter in an art school halfway around the world, that's another thing. So, yeah, I was basically uh, losing a lot of sleep over it. I just, uh, uh, you know, we'd be visiting this beautiful palace and then uh, just right there outside the road, there'd be like uh, a leopard on the mountain, on the, on the hilltop right there. And uh, there'd be crocodiles in the rivers. Uh, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Holy guacamole. Oh, yeah, but it's a great great what color is it normally? Yellow color. Yellow. And black dust. And black. Yellow and black. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like bird, the butterfly. Birds and butterflies. At night, monkeys would try to sneak in through our bedroom window, and armies of dogs would fight epic battles over street turf. And there was another question. In spite of the breathtaking beauty of the palaces and temples, we were perplexed over the growing impression that artists in India don't seem to follow the same quest for individual expression as artists in the West. The painters and sculptors we saw at work were following the same techniques which they'd learned from their fathers, like their fathers before them. It seems that everything in India is about tradition. So where does personal artistic inspiration fit in? It took over two hours to drive the 25 miles from Delhi's suburbs to Modinaga. We knew there were 
other colleges in the same area. Some sort of university campus, we thought. In fact, the colleges are settled inside a sprawling and defunct industrial complex. This is the entrance to what used to be the Modi family's textile mill in Modi Naga. It was lunchtime, and from everywhere, groups of students in white button-up shirts and ties were emerging from brick warehouses. Aifa occupies a few tidy buildings in a corner of the old factory. Next door neighbors are a troop of wild monkeys who jump from the broken windows into the trees. Aside from that, once inside the gate, it didn't really feel all that much different from a typical college campus tour in the United States. This is Mr. Subrato Roy, director of the school. It feels like a trip back in time. The setting resembles those old photos of the École des Beaux-Arts in the 1920s. Aside from the nude model, of course, who in India wears considerably more clothing. At Aifa, there are no core classes, no science, no math or history classes. It's all about learning how to draw. And draw. And draw some more. We were interested to see the large number of girls enrolled in the school. Women in India today seem to be coming out to claim a new role, like their sisters in the West did in the 1920s. Here we are talking with Safana Mianchi, director of Aifa's fashion department. Uh, the journey from inspiration to garment. The students learn everything from design to realization of the final product. We weren't able to see their collection because everything was being packed away for their annual fashion show. You're saying you use little, yes, little home, only basics. This is another aspect of the intense debate about the status of women in India. These compelling posters are part of a second year commercial art project about sex selection. According to The Economist magazine, India's preference for boys had caused the abortion of so many baby girls that 2010 projections showed 43 million men would be left unable to find a wife. How do you think an American student is going to do here? You think it's, it's going to be... Uh, actually, I'm um, uh, asked for India. This is our charity. By the charity, they have come over here to study. Now we are also getting some uh, students from U USA. That may be possible. We are trying. And our chairman, Mr. Stish Modi, is trying all this. This is the girls' dormitory and the emergency generator. Right. Can we see a one room? Is it possible? Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. What do you think I'm a, an American girl is going to be okay here? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you have so you, you have three friends, just three students. Sorry. There's three students staying with you here. Yeah. And it's it's fine, right? 
from Saharanpur, from Aligarh, uh -huh. from Amrova. <coughs> they are from uh, different sites. Different from side. UP. But everybody gets it on, fine. <laughs> no fight. No, no. no. <laughs> and the students take them. That's way one on them. And they eat here? Yeah. And then they cook right here? Yeah. Can I see? Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, do. <laughs> students at IFA. Some, from poor families, have won a full scholarship with the help of the University of the Arts in London. IFA is a seed of modern art, planted in the East and watered by thousands of years of culture. Will it flourish in the raw environment of this defunct factory, freeing the new Indian Picasso or Indian Frida Kahlo? I'm a kid, 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 I'